Good morning. It is Wednesday. It is August the 20th. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovich. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And, uh, well, it's uh, fairly nice out there. Not too bad. Cool. Muggy. It's a bit muggy. Yeah, a little bit of rain shower overnight. Yeah. But nothing too insurmountable. It looks like a reasonable drive this morning. Reasonable uh, until about 8 o'clock. Then we might see some more rain mm -hmm. moving into the GTA. Okay. The storms mostly to the west of us, but of course locally higher amounts if we do see that thunderstorm activity. I'll get you right into the weekend in just a few moments, but first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, we do have this system, this low, that's been bringing us the rain through the overnight, and it is just going to give us an unsettled pattern for the next few days. Now, keep in mind, it is not going to be a complete washout today, tomorrow, or even into Friday. We could see a mix of sun and cloud, but the trend is there for us to see scattered showers, the potential for isolated thunderstorms with the heat and humidity. So this weekend, I believe the better day, again, is going to be Sunday. Hi there, good morning. Thanks for joining us here on the Weather Network. It's Wednesday. It is the 20th of August. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And we've got a, no major problems in town. South Mount Stovall Road, we got a problem in the 404. We'll update that coming up. All right, temperatures this morning are a little bit on the muggy side. And I actually wish it was this warm yesterday morning when Chris May and then myself took part in the ALS Ice it's Bucket Challenge. Have a look, Tom. Holy <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> and that's why I didn't come oh to work yesterday, yeah. because I could have been involved in that. Who do you think got the worst? I would say that you probably got the worst yeah. brunt of it. I think that was planned. Well, maybe. I love the people that I work with, and I'm nice to everyone, so I'm not sure why they would have done that to me. But, but, see, but the water runs off of Chris May like a duck's back regularly. Have you ever heard that phrase? <laughs> yes. Okay, well, you see, that's probably what happened there. He's, he's sort of used to that, playing soccer all the time. I suppose. Yeah. Well, it was for a good cause, and that's why we did it. But boy, it was cold. Our CEO is going to do it today. Yeah, that's great. I'm yeah. Le I, Leon came off the zip line yesterday up at the cottage, and I, I got him with a ice uh, water. I suck it. <laughs> Uh, I got him good. So anyway, uh, he's also involved in it. So it's a great, it's a great cause. It is. It yeah. raises awareness. And if you don't do the challenge, uh, you have to pay a hundred bucks. Yeah, if you're nominated. that's right. Expected for the city, but locally higher if we do see some thunderstorm activity. I'll let you know what the remainder of the week is going to be like. Plus, we'll get into the weekend in just a few moments. But first, tell them what's going on in the roads. Well, we are going to see this unsettled pattern, and it's all because of this system that's moving through southern Ontario. Brought some pretty decent thunderstorms through the southwest last night. Windsor saw wind gusts up to about 100 kilometers an hour. The good news is that it's not going to be causing that type of damage for the city of Toronto. We are going to be seeing that risk of showers and isolated thunderstorms pretty much uh, today, right until Friday. But then it does start to ease off, and then a new system comes in. Saturday, we've got this kind of frontal boundary that's going to be moving in, giving us the chance of showers so Sunday again looks to be the better day of the weekend <laughs> that doesn't sound very good you will smell the exhibition <laughs> Unless it smells good. Okay, we do have the risk for a few isolated, non-severe thunderstorms firing up throughout the day today through the GTA, where we could see some severe cells closer to the shores of Huron and Georgian Bay. Just There's just a little bit more of an ingredient there, a little bit more higher cape for convective activity. Rainfall amounts, we're looking at about 15, possibly up to 30 millimeters of rain. Of course, we could see locally higher amounts if we do see thunderstorm activity. This unsettled pattern continues right for the next few days. By Friday, we'll start to clear out before a new system comes into the area by Saturday. Go to Hi, good morning. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday. It is the 20th of August. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. And a beautiful start to the day. Generally, we're not doing too bad. I just found one more problem on the highways, though. Oh. Southbound 410, there's a delay. So I'll show you that coming up. All right, well, before we get to your current temperatures, we'll take a look at how beautiful it was yesterday morning. It was a little on the cool <laughs> side. Cool. Perfect conditions for this. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh, look, we got most of it on you. I know. Honestly, I was, I was so, oh like, I, and the whole point of the Ice yeah. Bucket Challenge is because ALS, the Ice Bucket Challenge is to support ALS, right. ALS attacks your nervous system, right? Yeah. So it's like, it's a shock to your system. I bet. So mm -hmm. that's the whole point of the ice, right? Freezing your skin right. on initial impact. Right. And it hurt me so badly that I was honestly <clears throat> dizzy and Chris May didn't know who I was. Right. 
Chris May didn't know who you were. He was he was in such shock. Really? Yeah. Well, wow. if you watch the whole thing, his reaction after getting you mm -hmm. know a quarter of the ice that mm -hmm. I got mm -hmm. is way worse. Yeah. Like way worse. He screams like I've never heard a boy scream before. Well, oh. <laughs> A little squeal, was it? Aha. Uh -huh. I'm just good. saying. I'm just throwing it right, out there. Right, right. Well, <laughs> yes. a good cause nonetheless. Absolutely. Activity. What are your plans this weekend? I'll let you know what the weather's going to be like in just a moment. But first, here's Tom with traffic. Well, the sun-settled pattern, unfortunately, is going to continue right into the weekend. This low that brought us isolated showers and thunderstorms through the overnight last night is just going to continue to kind of stall out over the area, which means scattered showers, the potential of isolated thunderstorms is there for us today and into tomorrow. So keep that in mind. Now, into the long-range forecast, Friday looks to be a better day as we clear out, but then we've got a new system, and it's just going to hang out to the south of us. That could bring us a few isolated showers for Saturday, and it looks as though Sunday again could possibly be the better day of the weekend. Temperatures are going to be warm and muggy with that humidity. Well, because we are under this unsettled pattern for the next couple of days, we do have that risk for isolated thunderstorms today and even into tomorrow. Along the shores of Lake Huron, we could see some severe cells. There's just uh, enough moisture and enough cape to cause some pretty decent convective showers. Now, rainfall amounts, they're not incredibly significant, but 15 to 30 millimeters possible locally higher if we do see some thunderstorm activity. Like I mentioned, the system sticking around for today and into tomorrow, giving us that risk of isolated showers and tomorrow we could see some thunderstorm activity before we clear out on Friday, but a new system comes in on Go to the weather. Hi there, good morning. It's Wednesday, August the 20th. I'm Emily Vukovic. Thank you so much for joining us this morning. Well, the temperatures and the conditions have felt more like summer these last couple of days. Now, did you walk out this morning and kind of go, hmm, what's that smell? Yeah, rain has a smell. Here's Jacqueline. Showing kind of a chemical smell, kind of like chlorine. Interesting. If you didn't know, now you do. <laughs> All right, thunderstorms could be a possibility today and even into tomorrow with that unsettled pattern. Rainfall amounts, we're looking at about 15 to 30 millimeters of rain, but of course we could see higher amounts if we do see some thunderstorm activity. I'm going to turn things over to Tom Reynolds right now. He has an update on your morning commute. Good morning. It's Wednesday. It is the 20th of August. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Weather Network. I'm Emily Vukovic. And I'm Tom Reynolds. A few problem areas. A couple of small delays right now. Westbound 401 through Whitby earlier problems. And uh, coming in from the west end, we have some delays as well. We'll show you that coming up. All right, we will also talk about your long-range forecast. We'll get you into the weekend. I know there's a fair happening in Barrie this weekend. There's a big antique show in Bracebridge. So a lot of different events happening. Fall fairs. I saw them all the way home from the yeah. cars yesterday. You know, They're everywhere, starting. everybody's got their fall fairs and, yeah. and advertise. <laughs> Kids <laughs> beginning. Oh. <laughs> all right, we're going to check in with Kevin Yard, I believe. Or do we have Kevin? We do. <laughs> Kevin is joining us live in Toronto. And Kevin, conditions are fairly muggy this morning, aren't they? Thanks, Kevin. Yeah, we do have that risk of some isolated showers and thunderstorms. The radar is just showing the, the system really tracking to the east, but we're kind of in a bit of a lull right now, as you can see. We'll talk more about your weekend and all the events that are happening coming up. But first, Tom, what's happening in traffic? Well, we are going to be seeing some unsettled conditions throughout the area for the next couple of days. We've got showers and the risk of isolated thunderstorms today, and that trend really continues right through the day tomorrow. So do not rule this out if you've got outdoor activities planned. Uh, keep your eye on the sky because we may see some thunderstorms today and tomorrow stretching all the way up through Montreal. Now, by Friday, conditions really do start to clear out, which is good news. The slow is going to move its way east. But Saturday, take a look at the system we have to the south. That could eventually bring us some showers Saturday and Sunday.